remember, it's taken billions of dollars for these huge AI companies to build and train and release these AI models that power the chatbots that we all play around with. This Chinese AI started to build an AI model that is comparable to what we've seen out of OpenAI's ChatGPT, not just faster, but cheaper. We've already seen a lot of concern about the supply of chips. NVIDIA is coming out with new models, and you have NVIDIA competitors coming out with new models. And so this deep seek development really raises the question of, well, wait a second, do we need this many chips to begin with? You might see AI companies get more creative in how they're building these models, perhaps changing up their architecture and framework with the Stargate news that came out of President Trump's first days in office. This kind of puts a new focus on that. Is this going to be an opportunity to really speed it up? Are we going to get more creative with how we're building uh, this technology? Where do the data centers fall into all of this? It's all going to start kind of coming together with a bit more urgency now that we know that clearly this Chinese competitor is giving U.S. companies a run for their money. This is The Big Take from Bloomberg News. The rise of DeepSeek how it could upend the U.S. AI industry's competitive advantage or push it to innovate. 